Welcome to Dell Technologies Data Domain How To Series. How to configure ECS Cloud Tier with Data Domain. Reference Dell Knowledge Base Article Number 0002043684368. This video was created to provide information and steps to configure ECS Cloud Tier to the Data Domain Appliance. This video presents the following. Create Cloud Metadata Tier on Data Domain. Run Cloud Provider to verify the ECS Cloud connection and settings. And create and connect ECS Cloud Unit to Data Domain. When to do this? To deploy ECS Cloud Tier on Data Domain. Before you begin. The disks are ready for Data Domain Cloud Metadata Tier, or it's already been configured. The Data Domain Cloud Tier license has been applied. Have completed ECS Cloud Side Configurations. Have completed Load Balancer Configurations. There are three endpoints options available, they are Non-Secure Endpoints SSL Termination at Load Balancer Secure Endpoint, only LB Certificate is required on Data Domain in this case, either Self-Signed or CA Signed Certificate works. Full SSL Secure Endpoint, Load Balancer Certificate is required on Data Domain, and Root C, a Certificate of ECS must be installed on Load Balancer in this configuration. Note, the Load Balancer Certificate will be automatically imported during cloud verification. And, ensure time on Data Domain and ECS are consistent, otherwise creating the bucket may fail. Let's begin. This data domain does not have a cloud tier created, no cloud profile exists. The remaining storage addable device is device 6. In this demonstration, we will use it to create cloud metadata tier. If you have already created cloud metadata tier, please skip this step. Please remember to add cloud tier capacity license, it can be validated via e-license show command. You should see Cloud Capacity License in the list before proceeding further with the cloud configuration. Also, it is important to ensure the time on Data Domain and ECS are consistent. Use Date command to check the current time on Data Domain. Now we will start configuring ECS Cloud to Data Domain. First, we will configure Dev6 for Cloud Tier Metadata by adding it to Cloud Tier. If you've already have cloud metadata configured, please skip this step. Now the cloud tier has been created on device 6. Next we will run Cloud Provider Verify to verify the connectivity with ECS Cloud Endpoint and validate the account keys by creating a temporary bucket. Note, at this point, there is no SSL certificate from cloud existing on data domain. Enter access key and secret key obtained from ECS to grant access. For endpoint, type the load balancer endpoint address. Note that Load Balancer is required between Data Domain and ECS as a supported cloud configuration. If no port specified, by default 443 is used. While running Cloud Provider Verify, the Load Balancer certificate will be automatically imported to Data Domain. In this demonstration, we are using Self-Signed Certificate. You may use either Self-Signed or CA Signed Certificate based on your needs. Note if full SSL secure endpoint is required, you will also need to install root CA certificate for ECS on the load balancer. After cloud provider verify passed, you will notice the load balancer certificate has already been imported and exist on data domain. Now let's create a cloud profile named ECS underscore profile with the same load balancer endpoint and account keys.
The cloud profile creation succeeded, then we will move forward to create a cloud unit named ECS underscore unit on that cloud profile ECS underscore profile. This step might take some time, wait until you see cloud unit created successfully messages. Note the new cloud unit is connected and ready, and the status is active. Now you can also see both active and cloud tier showing up in file system show space output. Now we have completed configuring ECS cloud tier to data domain demonstrations. Reference the following for more information. Dell Knowledge Base Article 20178 Certificate Requirements for Secure DD Cloud Tier Connection to ECS and Best Practice Guide And Dell Knowledge Base Article 23160 How to Use the Data Domain Cloud Provider Verification Tool Thank you for watching.